After 13 seasons, leading the Michigan State football team head coach Mark D'Antonio today, announcing he's stepping away from the sidelines. I've told our players on many occasions that Michigan State is bigger than any one person. It's the program that's so important. Someday there will be someone else here talking to you from this podium. That day has come. Tonight he delivered a goodbye to the Spartan Nation, going out as the winningest coach in MSU history. News 8's Jacqueline Francis was there for the press conference, and she has our story from the Breslin Center tonight. The news of Mark D'Antonio's retirement has come as a shock to Spartan fans everywhere. But for the coach, this was far from impulsive as he talked tonight about the reasons behind his decision, as well as the legacy he leaves behind. <laughs> Leaving the position as Michigan State's winningest football coach, there's no doubt Mark D'Antonio will be missed. I am very sad. I, I think that he was a very good leader. And I think he was a great coach. But more than that, I think he was an excellent model for a human being, and I will miss him a lot. After 13 years, three Big Ten titles and 114 wins, the legendary head coach said his decision to leave had a lot to do with the demanding schedule. This job has always been a 24-7, 365-day-a-year position. There's no downtime in it, not any whatsoever. And it's filled with the demands and challenges. Of, I will miss all of it but feel the sacrifices that I have made away from my family must now become my priority at this time in my life. Although D'Antonio won't be going far as he plans to take on a special projects role within the university's athletic department, in announcing his retirement, he took a moment to reflect on his legacy as head coach. But I hope that uh, it's not about the wins and losses, it's about the people and how I've treated people and uh, the relationships that I've formed with my players that I believe will last a lifetime. The timing for finding a new coach may be tricky as D'Antonio's announcement came later than most would expect, but the university's athletic director is nothing but grateful for all he's given to the program. I was comfortable operating on his timeline, whatever that would be, and I think uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll find a very good coach. D'Antonio signing off with this bittersweet goodbye. And I'll forever be a Spartan, and uh, I guess that's all I got now. Go green. Just yesterday, new allegations against Antonio were made public as part of an ongoing lawsuit in which the coach is accused of committing multiple NCAA violations. When asked if this had anything to do with the timing of his retirement, he said no, that it has no relevance whatsoever. Reporting from the Breslin Center in East Lansing, Jacqueline Francis, News 8.